hardworking and educated. On one early morning, Jim dressed in a formal attire with a white top and a black pants, looking like a law student. Cypher exclaimingly says, Jim, this one here, you look like Professor Jim and CEO. And Jim responded as I quote and unquote. Me papa dear, send it to you, sir. Look what the Greeks they pray, one way we say, wahoba. Reflecting on Jim's person with diverse ambition, striving to become a sport administrator like his father. P.I.W.C. Asufa loves you just as the Lord Jesus does. May you continue to sleep in the bosom of the Lord till we meet in the pearly gates of heaven. Fare thee well, Jim. Amen. Jimmy, in just 21 years of stay on earth, your family and the world will remember you for the many positive contributions you made. You live as a soldier, the lives of your comrades matter to you more than your own. Hey guys, my name is Eva Nelson. Keep watching Sloppy GHTV. At a time, he is going to pursue further studies at the Virgin Indian University. Jim started his basic, basic school at Virgin Indian in the Netherlands and later continued at KMC Primary and Junior High Schools. Jim proceeded to the Presbyterian Boys Secondary School, Preset, where he sat for West African Senior Central Examination, was, was he, and passed. He entered the Kuban University of Science and Technology and wrote on BA Economics degree program and he was expected to complete his bachelor's degree this year. Jim was a child skillful in learning new languages and he was also talented in networking. He took less than a month to speak that fluently to the admiration of everyone. Jim's affability and popularity Put your neighbors to refer to his mom and dad as Baba Jimmy, Papa Jimmy, Mama Jimmy, Jimmy's daddy, Jimmy's mother or mother, Jimmy's father or brother, as if the parents have no names of their own. This shows the extent to which this young, this young man. Remember today, connected to his neighbors, friends, and community. You will follow to my see a firm faith in God and believe in the resurrection. He was baptized and fellowship by the Asuka Church of Pentecost International Worship Center, PRWC in Kumasi. Jim believed in humanity, and today he always saw the same people. Today, as we gather here to bring farewell to our son, Friend and brother, his humanity belief of a brother's keep, a brother's keeper appeared paradoxical, especially with a girl that you said he didn't do enough to save his life. Jimmy, in just 21 years of stay on earth, your family and the world will remember you for the many positive contributions you made. You live as a soldier, the lives of your comrades matter to you more than your own. Jesus said, he who loses his life for God's sake will find it. 
and 17 March 2625. Let's raise our hope in Christ Jesus that you will still live and that we shall meet again. Have rest in the Lord, have rest in the Lord, uh, have rest in the Lord God, son. Farewell. Toshiers, Jimmy. Always be with us. Your call to glory teaches us to be equally get prepared always. For only the Lord knows our days. PIWC Asuka loves you just as the Lord Jesus does. May you continue to sleep in the bosom of the Lord till we meet in the pearly gates of heaven. Fare thee well, Jim. Amen. Now we come together today to pay tribute to our dear brother today. Jim was not just a classmate, he was a cherished member of our school community, leaving an indelible mark on each of us. Jim was more than just a schoolmate, he was a beacon of light. He, he was a beacon of light, always ready with a smile and a kind word. His one his warmth and kindness has the heart of everyone around him, making him a, be a beloved figure in our school community. Jim Tiger, as we refer to him back then, was full of hope and not easy. The smallest razor back then came in his situations. We call him an optimist because of the resilience he demonstrated when he was on track. The unwavering confidence of his, even when he stood against the bigger boys on the field. As we reminisce about our time together, we are filled with gratitude for the memories we shared with him. From our days in the classroom to our adventures on the playground, Jim was always there, brightening our days with his infectious laughter and unwavering optimism. Though Jim may no longer be with us in person, his spirit lives on in our hearts and memories. We will forever cherish the moments we shared and the lessons he taught us about friendship, kindness, and resilience. Rest in peace, dear brother. You will always hold a special place in our hearts, and your memory will live on. Your memory will live on in the bonds of friendship that you entered us. With love and remembrance, your old peace. Thank you. I don't know whether the domestic classmates are around to greet. Are you coming? Are you coming? Okay. You can read from the book. So this is the university classmates.
Once Jim makes lectures, everyone will notice because the lecture will call out his name. Jim Ofori was a generous man. He always covered the cost of group presentation and urged his group members to finish their project on time. Anytime Jim drove to campus, he picked up his course mates and dropped them off to their hostels. He went the extra mile buying food for his friends and classmates. He loved to eat together with them. We all know Jim to be a lover of food. He eats food about six times a week. We often saw his status of eggs eating and driving all around with his friends. Outside the classroom, Jim, Jim as he was a friend, a confider and a source of laughter. He was a footballer enthusiast, and during our Eastside Games competition, he ran for his class the fourth years, showing an unmatched skills on the pitch. His famous lecturer, Dr. Prince Frimpong, popularly known as Peter Bodia, he often visited his office for advice on his academic both on campus and off campus. Jim always was a peacemaker among his friends, resolving arguments. The last notable incident was when campus were arising following Cypher's team lost in Champions League. Jim called out, Jim called the situation down, bringing peace with his friends, with his wise words. In his leisure time, Jim called, called it to play FIFA, excelling at the game and always eager for a rematch if he lost. His presence brought joy to our economic discussion and his absence leave a void in our hearts. We will miss his sharp wit and his ability to enlighten even the heaviest economic concepts with a smile. He lovely called me Presido and I call him the Tiger. He is a hardworking and dedicated. On one early morning, Jim dressed in a formal attire with a white top and a black pants, looking like a law student. Cypher exclaimingly says, Jim, this one there, you look like Professor Jim SEO. And Jim responded as I quote and unquote, Me papa dear, send it there, Mr. Me papa degrees the pray, Monwen who say, Wahoba. Reflecting on Jim's person with diverse ambitions, striving to become a sports administrator like his father, and a prominent economist aspiring to acquire professional certificates and titles. This year, this comes, his dreams have become short. But we believe in the book of life that reveals that his death was imminent. As we mourn the loss of Jim before we came and see, we remember the lesson he taught us in economics and in his life. His departure reminds us of an unpredicted nature of Maka and the transcendent nature of time. We honor his memory by sharing the moments we share and embodying the spirit and education he brought to our economic community. In closing, let us take a solace in the wisdom of Job, finding strength in his enduring faith. The Lord blessed the latter parts of Joseph like more than the former parts. May these words serve as a beacon of hope for the family of departed friends and the classmates, Prof and Miss Chumesi. Though we mourn the loss of their beloved Jim, let us hold to fast the belief that in the midst of sorrow, blessings abound. May the memories of the life of Jim continue to comfort and the joy, and may the love and the support of the family and friends sustain Mr. and Mrs. Prof Chumesi. Through the difficult times, our thoughts and prayers are with them, and may they find peace and knowledge that Jim Jim's prayers will forever be in our hearts. Rest in peace, Jim Ofori. Ow! Rest in peace, Jim Tiger. Thank you. We gather here today to remember and celebrate the life of our dear friend and a brother to us, whose presence enriched our life on countless ways. Jim Ofori to mercy was a beacon of light and joy, always ready with a kind word or a helping hand. He left an indelible mark on our hearts with an unwearying kindness, infectious laughter, and the courage with which we face life challenges. To Jim, the world was full of wonders and opportunities for kindness. He taught us the importance of living life fully, loving deeply, and loving often, laughing often. Your spirit was a red light of strength and gentility, and you approached each day with a grace that inspired for who were fortunate enough to know you. You always made sure people around you passed into laughter and happiness whenever you were around. They say friends are family, 
choose. We chose him for the greatest moments of our lives. And when Jim passed away, it was the worst moments of our lives. I am better for knowing you, better for loving you, better for having met you. May you be blessed in the next life, my brother, as I was in this one by knowing you. As we say goodbye, we hold on to the memories, moments of joy and lessons you left us. Jim, for you to mercy, you may have left this world, but you will never leave our hearts. Your legacy will live on through the love you shared and the lives you touched. To a friend who challenged me to step out of my comfort zone and try new things. This world isn't the same without you, but I am grateful for the time we had together. A friend taking from life too soon is nothing but a tragedy. Your death affects everyone who knew and loved you. We are, we will honor your legacy and remember them always. The value of our friendship is beyond measure. I'll pay anything to have you back for one more moment, for one more memory. I miss you. Saying goodbye this soon feels so wrong. So instead, I'll just say I love you and know you'll always be with us. I remember the last video you shared with me, telling me no matter where we find ourselves, whether in a photo or